this is just a, 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 a pile of BS. In Operation Crime and Justice, the father of a murder victim is furious after he says the company's responsible for keeping her suspected killer in Nashville failed to do their jobs. Now a panel of judges ruled the companies can continue to operate. Fox 17 News' Karen Aguilar joining us here in studio to tell us more about this brand new development. Karen? Megan, this ruling highlighted a series of what the judges called errors and failures, but will allow Brooks Bail Bonding and on-time bonding to continue to operate. Lance Johansson came all the way from Mississippi and sat in this four-hour hearing in Nashville, hoping for accountability in his daughter's murder. Police say Lauren Johansson's on-and-off-again boyfriend, Bryson Rivers, beat her to death while out on bond. Our family has just been torn apart by this. Right now, I miss my daughter so bad, I want her back. The hearing was to get to the bottom of what went wrong in Rivers' release. After police say he beat Lauren here in Nashville, Brooks bail bonding and on-time bail bonds were supposed to keep Rivers in Davidson County. That didn't happen. Police say Rivers, while wearing an ankle monitor, traveled to Mississippi, killing Johansson. The judges did find, quote, a calamity of errors and also negligence in this case. Like bond agents signing the order of conditions without reviewing them and the criminal court clerk's office not sending them over. But there will be no consequences at all for these bonding companies. I'm so pissed off. This system is so crooked and so negligent. Attorney Bobby Ballinger, who's not connected to this case, says mistakes were made but didn't break any rules. I believe what's going to happen with this is that the clerk's office, the sheriff's department, the courts, and more importantly, the bonding agents will have a specific protocol so they can do this better. Brooks Bill Bonding gave us a statement that says in part, they quote, look forward to working with legislators to amend the current law to allow us to more effectively do our jobs, end quote. On-time bail bonding did not respond for comment. Land says his daughter, Lauren, is the victim of these systemic failures with no justice in sight. I think that the six judges address that there is gross negligence and failure here, except they don't want to assign accountability to anybody. We will be following this story to see if any changes will be made in the system's protocol. Reporting live in studio, Karen Aguilar, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.